Source Fed Nerd. I'm Lee Newton and I'm here to give you top 10. Underrated! By the very definition, it is to rate or evaluate low, to underestimate, to not give enough credit to. Today I explore the top 10 most underrated characters from Harry Potter. Yes, from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade, I will dive into those characters that for one reason or another just don't get enough credit. Now before everyone argues about the journeys of book versus movie, let's just go ahead and blend the two together, okay? Thank you. Neither can live while the other survives. Well, in this world, it can. Number 10, Nagini. Bitch doesn't get enough credit. Not only is she pivotal in the sense that she is herself a horcrux and bitter of her evil master's doing, but she's terrifying and the closest thing that Voldemort has to a sidekick. She's a slimier, less nasally Iago. Number nine, the sorting hat. Come on. This dude basically calls all the shots. If it weren't for him, Harry would have been in Slytherin and we would have been looking at a movie and book series about an evil boy that joins an army. Let's save that for World War II. Two films, shall we? No! As a true Hufflepuff, I say give credit where credit is due. Tip of the brim to you, my sorting hat. Number eight, Gilderoy Lockhart, the narcissistic love himself. Why underrated? Cause, well, he is, duh. But also because unbeknownst to him, he was actually a pretty good secondary villain. Creating chaos and pandemonium simply because his ego got in the way. Good lesson to learn. Don't let celebrity steal your integrity. Boom, trademark Lee Newton. Number seven, Ollivander. Hells yeah, not only is he essential and often forgotten, but he is responsible for some of the best magic around. You know, through wanding and stuff. And even though he speaks in the most cryptic of ways, Ollivander is the one that tells Harry about the twin wand core. And who else do you know that can sound super creepy and talk mysterious and still be likable? Lots of people, fine. I like him, moving on. Number six, Cedric Diggory, the sacrificial handsome lamb himself. Yes. He fell victim to a much bigger fight, but I believe that it was his death that ignited Harry and let him know what he was up against. If someone as wonderful and charming as Diggory could be a pawn, anyone could. Plus, Hufflepuff represent. He's handsome. Number five, the Whomping Willow. Do I need to explain myself? No, the Whomping Willow is an essential plot point. Attitude and mirth alike, this tree is a key player. Don't fight me on this, just think about it. Okay, now stop because we're moving on to number four. Number four, Remus, awesome Lupin. Now look. I know he gets attention. He gets some attention, but he doesn't get what he deserves. Remus is often in Sirius' shadow and never gets enough credit for being a foundational character and taking Harry under his wing. Not to mention, Remus' story of battling inner demons mirrors the entire series. Remus, Lupin, Marauders represent. Number three, Minerva McGonagall. This lady ain't your classic school mom. Okay, sure, she might seem cold, but you would too if you had to deal with a whole bunch of school kids that just learned how to dick around with magic, all the while knowing that you're one of the best witches out there. Come on, she's a badass. Minerva, boom. Number two, now I know I might get some guff for this, but Arthur Weasley. I know Molly gets all the love, and as she should, Harry desperately needed a mother's love, but come on, Arthur is holding that place together. Not to mention, there is something to be said for perpetually doing right. And here we are to number one. Oh my God, it's been such a journey. The most underrated goes to Neville wasn't badass, now is badass, long bottom. He was almost the chosen one. Neville taught us the very valuable lesson of nobody's cool when they're younger and eventually you turn out awesome if you just stick to your beliefs and fight for the people that you love. I don't know a shorter version of that, but that's essentially what it is. Come on though, Dumbledore's army, Gryffindor's sword, huh? He's a total awesome guy. So that's it guys from Forgotten to Fantastic. That is the top 10 most underrated Harry Potter characters. According to me, a huge fan. Do you want to fight about it? Bring it on. I'm Hufflepuff. I won't do much fighting, but I will know where my common room is. So who did I miss? Let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, like and subscribe. Give me kisses. I love you. Bye. Protego. It's me protecting you from all of your attitude you're gonna give me about this list. Arthur Weasley? Yeah. 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 I done. <laughs>